Hi, this is Gloria Douglas, a licensed real estate agent in Las Vegas, Nevada. I specialize in the NACA mortgage product. I do not work for NACA, nor have I ever worked for NACA, but I do like their program. Um, so today I'm going to do some Q&A because I've been getting quite a few questions from people from all over the country actually asking different questions. So one of the first ones is, why am I no longer doing videos? Well, to be honest, only because I've been so busy. I've been busy with clients selling houses. And so um, I put making videos at the end of my priority list. So I apologize. And I know that I was going to try to do better this year. And I am. I promise you I am. But um that's how come I, I just have not had time to. And then I'm also partnering um, with a couple of people to do some other things. And I'll get into that in a little bit as I go a little bit further down. And as to why more towards the end, at the end of the video, that's when I'll, I'll tell you what I'm doing. So am I still doing NACA? Yes, I am. I am still doing the NACA program, helping people getting into homes and, um, challenging sometimes that it can be but it is still worth it I promise you and I earn every single solitary penny that I do by doing the NACA program but yes I am still doing NACA here in Las Vegas is it true that the loan the max loan amount has changed yes it is true there is a caveat to that though so if you're not living in Las Vegas, you may have no idea of what I'm talking about because your max amount probably has not changed. But here in Las Vegas, if you make up to 300, uh, I'm sorry, if you make up to $3,999.99, you do not have a cap as to how much house you can buy. So as long as you qualify for the house and you make under $4,000 per month, you can have 401k money that you can use. You can have um, a relative that gives you money that you can use and you can buy over your house limit as long as you do not go over your max payment amount. There is no limit. So you can have gifted funds given to you, um, yeah, in order to be able to, to purchase a house. Now, if you make $4,000 a month or more, then you are capped at $211,000. You cannot add to it, even if you have it to do so. That sounds backwards to so a lot of people it does. But the reason that they're doing that is because NACA is, um, it was originally geared towards low to moderate income earners. So in NACA's mindset, if you make $4,000 or more a month, you can afford to live in any place that you choose to. Now, because you have other lifestyle things going on, that is not what they're concerned about. They're concerned about looking at your living expenses and you can afford to live where you want to. So if you make $4,000 or more per month, you are capped at $211,000, period. And if you make less than $400,000 a month, then you have no limit with how much you can buy. Now, for those that do make $4,000 or more per month and you still want to go to the through the NACA program and you want to buy more than two hundred and eleven thousand dollars then you will be looking at going to a targeted area that's the only exception where you can get away with going through NACA making more than making four thousand dollars more a month and buying more than two hundred and eleven thousand dollars now if you want to stay under two hundred and eleven thousand that's fine you can still do the program but if you want to buy more than 211000 then it will have to be in a targeted area. So your next question probably is, well, what's a targeted area? What we have to do is put the specific house into the computer 
and pull up that address and then it tells us if it's in the targeted area or not. There's a website that you can go to. Go, um, go to. I don't know it off the top of my head because I've not used it before. Um, because most people, when they find this out, they're like, okay, I'm going somewhere else. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be limited with how much money I can spend. So um, if you want more information on targeted areas, then put uh, make a comment or something below. Call me like you all do. Text me like you all do. And I'll get more specific information about targeted areas for the NACA program specifically for you. Another question that I got a telephone call for from someone was, um, what is EMD? EMD means earnest money deposit. And what that is, it is a good faith from you to the homeowner saying, I am leaving a deposit so that you will take your house off of the market and we can negotiate, have a conversation so that we can, I can purchase your house, you sell your house to me, we close it, and then we have a done deal. So that amount can be anywhere between a minimum $500, uh, $500 is what I've seen as the minimum. And then it can go up from there. Maximum for resale values, usually up to $400,000, will be about $5,000. Now, if you go new construction here in Las Vegas, then you're looking at $3,000 or uh, a lot of times $5,000 as your earnest money. They usually aren't too negotiable with that for the most part. But with the resale, it's kind of like this is what I'm giving you for earnest money. And then you just kind of go from there. Um, can I buy new construction? That's another question that I get. Yes, you can. You can buy new construction and Las Vegas is a hot market for new construction. Now, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you are in the $200,000 or more purchase price, which is about a thousand, maybe eleven $1 hundred dollars or more per month for your payment, then I can get you into a new construction home. If your payment is about nine hundred and fifty thousand, I mean, nine hundred and fifty dollars to a thousand dollars or less then normally here in Las Vegas, we're not looking at new construction. And that's because the average new construction price here in Las Vegas is $220,000, and I cannot stretch you that much unless you are coming out of pocket with the difference. So houses here do start at $199,999 for new construction. So that gives me a little bit of flexibility. And so we can work with that. Um, so if you want to know more about new construction homes, if you already have a real estate agent, then you have to deal with your real estate agent and talk to them. Um, if you want to talk with me and my partner who doubles as my mom, her name is Jackie, and you'll be meeting her, seeing her as well then give me a phone call or a text 702-690-6312 and we will meet with you in our office and we i have changed my program somewhat so you will be signing a duty zone on our first appointment as well as a buyer's brokerage agreement and the buyer's brokerage agreement is an agreement between you and myself and it is a six-month agreement i do minimum six-month agreement and um for you to get out of it, mm, why sign it if you're just going to try to get out of it anyway? So, and I'm doing that for several different reasons. A lot of the reasons is it's, it's business and, and it is to protect myself and as well as to protect you. Um, but if you want more information then on looking at new homes and things like that, then that's what you have to do in order to meet with me. Also, when it comes to new construction especially here in Las Vegas, do not go to, and even if you have a realtor and I'm not your realtor, do not go to a new construction site without your realtor, especially on your first visit. Because if you do, you sign an agreement or even if you just register, you are locked into them and there's nothing that we can do to help you. Nothing. So 
we won't even talk to you basically because there's nothing that we can do so if you know that you want new construction or even if you think you want new construction then you need to get with your realtor and have your realtor go with you you can't just oh i'm just gonna go just go look they will lock you in and there's nothing that we can do we cannot help you especially if you're going through the naka program because naka has to be done a certain way and if you're in a new construction without a, a naka specialist you will it, it will be all bad it will be all bad. So always take your realtor with you on your first visit. If that means you have to sit on your hands until you can get over there, then sit on your hands until you can get over there. But wait for your realtor. Let them pr uh, protect you. Now, um, the reason that I have been so busy is because I have partnered with two loan officers that know the NACA program just as well as I do and actually better because they are insiders. And so they have now broadened their horizon some and they not only can assist with NACA, but also FHA, VA, and um, uh, other conventional NACA is a conventional mortgage so for those that, that may not have seen my original videos NACA is a conventional mortgage but there's also conventional mortgage that's out there on the street and so they also specialize in those programs as well as USDA program they specialize in those programs so what we've been doing we have been putting together a, a new home buyer preparation workshop so if you are looking to get into a home, be it that it's through NACA, FHA, VA, whatever program, does not matter. We will help you prepare to get into that home and to go with whatever program you want. We're setting you up according to those program guidelines and we are getting you prepared for home purchase. However long that takes, it's up to you. It's up to your credit. It's up to how much money you have already saved. I don't have any savings. Okay, fine. We'll work with you until you do. My credit is terrible. Okay, fine. We'll work with you until we get your credit where it needs to be for whatever program you feel like will be the best program for you. It is a two hour long workshop, approximately one to two hours. Um, once you are scheduled for it, we are going to send you the list of documents that you need to bring with you. That will also determine how quickly you move along. And, um, and that's what we're doing. So our first workshop is going to be July 12th. We are not going to do like NACA does where they have a workshop twice a month and they max out like 100, anywhere between... I think they say 50 to 200 people or something like that, but it's usually about maybe 75 people minimum, 75 to 100 minimum. We aren't doing that because we want to give you the personalized attention. And even if you decide to go through NACA, we want to get you prepared before you even go to your first appointment. So you still have to do their workshop. But then you also have to do our workshop so that we can groom you and get you ready, get you prepared. So when you go to your first appointment, you'll have everything that you need to have. So it is limited seating, only 20 seats. And the first one, like I said, will be July 12th at 6 p.m. And you want to plan to be there from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. We will be serving light refreshments. So in order to go to that, you can call me, you can text me, you can email me in order to get on the list. Um, no children are allowed to be there because we're gonna be there straight two hours, one to two hours, taking care of business. So I need you to make arrangements for your children because we cannot have any distractions. Um, but if you would like to attend, then feel free. And you do have to live in the Las Vegas Valley area in order to attend. We will not be doing uh, any kind of Skyping or anything like that. So, um, that is what we're that's what i have been working on behind the scenes and part of the reason why i have not in addition to sh not only showing homes but also selling homes um that's what i've been doing and yes i do sell new construction i also sell uh resale i sell townhouses i sell condos i sell um 
single family residences. So whatever you're on the market for and you want to get prepared, then July 12th, that's where you want to be. And you do want to go ahead and get on the list quickly for that. Um, Oh, one other question that I'm always asked also is, why do I have to have an approval letter? An approval letter just shows that you are actually approved and have spoken to a lender in order to qualify for the house that you're putting an offer in on. And some people don't do that. They don't go get an approval letter. They see a house, they're out. Maybe they go to an open house. They put in for the house and then they go get their financing and the lender says, oh, well, you don't qualify. For not for that house, you qualify for a house that's say fifteen thousand dollars less. So because of that, you do have to have a an approval letter. Now with NACA, they do a specific house approval letter, and the reason that they do that is because, especially here in Las Vegas, other parts of the country may be different, but especially here in Las Vegas, one hundred and fifty thousand dollar house on one side of town may be different from. $150,000 house on another side of town. So on side of town A, the house can be $150,000, the HOA can be $50 a month, and the taxes per year will be, say, $896 a month. Then you go to side of town B, and the house is $150, I mean, $150,000 uh, uh, for the purchase price. But house B, because of the side of town that it's on, the HOA can be $110 a month. And the taxes can be $1,200 a year. So right there is a difference. NACA is not a hard program to figure out. It's strictly a numbers game. As long as you do not go over your max payment amount, it's strictly a numbers game. That's it. So I'm taking your $150,000 eligibility. I'm looking at your max payment amount. And then I'm just playing with numbers for different houses. Not playing with the numbers, but, but just looking and see between the different HOA and, um, and taxes to see how much we will keep you at your max payment amount without going over. That's all that I'm doing. And you can do it too by going onto the calculator and seeing how much you can afford, how much you may have to come out of pocket. It's strictly a numbers game. So, but that's why you have to have a property specific house, a property specific approval, because depending on where you want that $150,000 house, how much the taxes are and how much the HOA is will determine if you're going to go over your max payment or not. So I hope that answered some of those questions that you all have been asking of me. And um, to reiterate, no, I am not through with NACA yet. Whew. Not through with them yet. I'm still working with them. I'm still hanging in there with them. So as long as I'm doing that, you have an agent that will work with you um, to get you through the process. And um, check me out for my, um, for my workshop. I don't think we're going to be doing any videos or anything on that. But maybe I'll do something putting out a little bit more information for people that do want to participate in it. Um, I don't know. It's for, I, I feel like it's for serious, serious uh, home buyers only actually is what I, what I, that's what I honestly believe is that it's for serious home buyers only, only. And even though you may not be ready right now, that's the purpose of it is to get you ready. And if you're willing to stick in there and, and go through the process, we're willing to stick in there and go through the process with you as well. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to go over 20 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it, you know, cut it off right now. But if you have any other questions, give me a call, text, email 702-690-6312. And I look forward to hearing from you soon. And um, home ownership is possible. Have a great day.